let's see. This says 4.9 Na for naturally uh, naturally aspirated, and the engine displacement 4.9 liters at 300 cubic inches of displacement. Manual transmission. Hmm. Well, that's the biggest five liter engine I've ever seen. No, but really though, that is a 460, which after some research, because I'm honest, I didn't know, uh, is a 7.5 liters. That's a monster. So, there's a look at the engine of this beast. Uh, I'll, you'll have to forgive me. I, uh, I've already started to do some odds and ends to try to get this thing a little bit more drivable. But, uh, you know, it came with 33 inch tires on it. Supposedly classic Krager wheels. Don't know. I'll have to do some research. Now, you probably sell by the uh, paint marks on the trim that the door is spray painted. I actually did that the other day with some uh, rest stop primer. As you see, there's a little rest spot there. The reason I did the whole door is this is a replacement door off of a I believe an F-250 or something like that with the manual crank windows supposedly this had uh, uh, power options and all that to it don't know because it's a 1980 it only has an 11 digit VIN number um, standard VIN numbers to 17 characters didn't come along until uh, 82 or something like that <clears throat> Uh, and as you can see, you, uh, you can see the driveway through the floor right there. So the good old boys that I traded my Ranchero away for this thing uh, said it was pretty solid, not a whole lot of rust. Well, you know, when somebody says there's not a whole lot of rust, they probably mean there's a shit ton of rust because the, the uh, driver's side, anyway, is... Uh, pretty eaten up, pretty bad. I have a replacement floor plan on the way. Uh, as you see there, more of my rust stop spray. And, uh, yeah, you know, whenever you get a vehicle and you don't know if it's lineage or what it was used for, wash it, pull the carpet out, check floorboard, especially if it's something older. There's galvanized roofing uh, patching the floor together. We got a bench seat out of a truck or something, uh, which is nice. I'll probably keep it. And as you can see, my uh, WeatherTech floor mats, not a sponsor, but hey, hit me up. We can talk. I uh, reutilized their uh, sheet metal roofing. And I went ahead and started pulling out some of the bad sections. Um, now, I will show you where I was trying to hone my welding skills. I know that looks like just a, a pile of crap, but I haven't welded in a long time, and I haven't welded body metal uh, ever. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get to see how that goes. And... uh also, with it being as rusty and as thin as it was, that's probably the, uh, the most likely end result. It just kept on burning through, no matter what I spit, set the speed to, but you know, I should probably do my due diligence and actually look up some settings for my little uh, weld pack that I have. I think it's that. Weld pack 100 HD or something like that. Now here's the back seat. Berkeley came with that. 
Uh, I have to talk to my neighbor man, Mr. Chris of uh, Chris's Upholstery, and see what he can do for me about getting that reupholstered. The back doesn't look so bad, but the, the seat is rough. Uh, we got our removable hard top back here with the sliding glass windows, which oh, apparently was an option up through 1984. So, you know, this mechanically is run, running pretty well. Uh, you know, I, I grew up driving a stick shift. And as you can see there, this is a fiddle focus. Focus! Four speed with reverse. Also, four wheel drive. So I've got uh, to either learn to deal with driving a four speed or uh, find me a uh, five speed to swap into this thing to make it a little bit uh, of a more, not daily driver friendly, but just on the road friendly. Cause I mean, it goes about 45 and fourth. You know, not really meant for highway speeds at that gearing. The speedometer works. Got this uh, weird starburst targeting computer in the middle there that doesn't have a dial on it. Not sure what the hell that was supposed to be. As much as I've wanted one of these vehicles for a long time and wanted a full-wheel drive, I'm not very familiar with them. Didn't have a lot of exposure to them. Uh, growing up, my dad was very anti four wheel drive just because it's, oh, it's more parts that you gotta worry about breaking or replacing and fixing. Uh, so I do have a door card for that door, but currently it has no window handle and no a door handle. I mean, the, the, the parts are there. As you can see, there's a no window handle, no door handle. The, the mechanics are there and they function, but we'll just have to uh, uh, get parts to replace that. And the other thing that's odd is, I don't know if that glass is the wrong glass or what, but that's as high up as it'll roll up when, you know, rolled. So either the window mechanism is wrong, which might be the case because that screw above the window crank is curiously rust free. So let's see what's going on there. But I mean, other than that little bit of rust coming through right there, the body itself, pretty straight. Fairly rust free. A little dinger above our tail light. Pardon all my crap. And then, um, you know, there's a pretty good. Um, and that's what the driver's door looked like uh, before I painted it. Nice two-tone brown so you know as soon as some funds clear out and things move around a little bit I'll be painting that door too and then one thing the previous owners thought was hilarious was that they replaced the front fenders and I would say the whole front clip maybe even the doors off of uh, an f-250 so people, they said they get the strangest looks when people look at the Bronco, see the F-250. And look at the Bronco, and look at the F-250. Um, so up here in the front, we've got a pretty heavy duty, at one time, I would even say, winch ready bumper. Nice little skid plate there. And get our... What I believe is a 
Dana 44 HD front axle. Um, bear with me, I'm wondering about full drive stuff as I go. Let's see if I can get an angle on it. So, right, so this is our summer project car. See if I can get into the kick of uh, cranking out some videos. Like I said, this is, a, this is a vehicle that I traded a Ranchero for. Ranchero was not a you know special vehicle to me other than you know, the, the sentimental value that it was my dad's, but <coughs> it needed a lot more work than I felt comfortable doing as far as body work and things like that. Also, the Ranchero only had two seats in it. And for my my dad and my mom, there at the end, it was just the two of them, and they could cruise around. But, folks, I got wife, three kids, 12, 10, and 8. Uh, I need that back seat. I probably need that bench seat, too, because, you know, you know what kids are. They don't want anybody in their space. Well... I'll, uh, I'll splice in a little short video I got of it running somewhere in there. And, uh, well, that's what it runs like. So, I'd say that trading my little Junkyard Savage Title Ranchero with a 302 for a full wheel drive Bronco with a swapped in 460. I think I came out ahead. Four pans. Nobody's gonna have to look at those welds. I can grind them down and make them look good. Throw some paint on them, throw some bed liner on them. Good to go. This thing's pretty solid. And we're gonna go through basically bumper to bumper, fix the things that they didn't fix, um, unjerry rig some things probably, and uh, let's see about how bad a condition the wiring's in. So that's where we're at right now. Alright, y'all have a good day.